Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here, and in today's video I thought I'd give you guys a little update on my 5 gallon shrimp aquarium. So this shrimp aquarium has been set up for um, probably a little bit more than a week, almost two weeks actually, almost two weeks at this point, and by now the shrimp have all settled in. I think I've only had one loss, and that actually occurred this morning. I woke up and one of the molted shells had a little bit of color in it and usually the molted shells are completely see-through so I think it might have been a bad mold and the shrimp just uh, ate that shrimp overnight. It's just a little bit of a surprise because I fed the shrimp yesterday and they didn't eat all their food so I don't think they're hungry so who knows maybe I didn't lose that shrimp after all and it's just hiding somewhere in there but so far I can only see seven shrimps and I've been looking for the last like 30 minutes to find that eighth shrimp and I just can't see it. But as you can see, the remaining shrimp are in here and they're doing well. They actually uh, seem to have gained some color, which is pretty cool. It's a sign, I think, that they're liking their new habitat. And as you can see, they're molting too. And that orange shrimp over there is actually eating what I believe is um, the remains of the dead shrimp, if that shrimp did truly die. Um, so yeah, it's definitely eating a mold and it's just as you can see that mold has some color on it. I mean I don't really want to zoom in any further because this is already pretty blurry because the camera doesn't really want to focus on the shrimp, instead wants to focus on the gravel. But you can see that mold has some color in it and usually the uh, molds are see-through so I think that might actually be a dead shrimp instead. But otherwise as you can see the shrimp are happily moving around in their aquarium. There's two more over here, and um, yeah, they've been eating uh, fish food, uh, algae, waivers, some of the shrimp pellets. They really seem to be eating everything I throw in there. They like they are they like their protein uh, sources. So the they've been eating the shrimp, the fish food. I want to try some uh, mysis shrimp as well because I still have those. They really seem to like their protein and they get their algae as well of the leaves and the aquarium ground and whatnot. The sort plants are also doing pretty well in here. As you can see they have uh, lots of bubbles on them and I don't run any carbon dioxide in this tank, no CO2 at all. But as you can see these uh, these swords are uh, purling which is pretty cool. So I think they like their um, new uh, home here. This one's starting to grow some new leaves, which I really, I, I can't show, it's kind of tough, they're really small, they're in the middle there, but overall you can see the swords are doing pretty well. I added this uh, dwarf uh, sag as well, which I'm hoping will spread across the whole aquarium, and you might be wondering what this is, well that's actually a piece of cuddle bone, and it's not for the shrimp. It's uh, actually for some little snails that I added to this aquarium. You can see one of them just crawling on the wall right there. It's uh, African, um, sorry, it's a uh, rabbit snail, I think they're called. Um, so they get to be quite large actually. Their shell gets to be about two inches um, long. This one's just a baby. I saw that the snails that we had at the pet store, the um, elephant snails, I think they're called elephant snails or rabbit snails, uh, had babies and uh, I asked the boss if I can take the babies and he's like, just take them so I don't have to pay for them, which is pretty cool. So I have one that's uh, kind of this uh, brown, ooh, brown color with uh, specks on it. Now, if the camera could refocus, that'd be great. So it has these orange, orange little specks on it, and I don't think I can get any closer really to show you guys, unfortunately. Now, there we go, maybe that's better. So you can see it's brown, but it has these uh, yellow or orange specks on it. And the second one, which you can see hiding just behind the rock there, is uh, completely, completely orange. So that one's a little bit bigger, actually, so it's easier for the camera to look at. This baby is probably around two months old at this point. So yeah, I've added these to the aquarium. And they don't seem to be a big fan of the protein uh, foods, so I'm going to feed them some zucchini later on. I also just got some Indian almond leaves in the mail, which I'm going to throw in there, because apparently shrimp uh, like them, and they uh, provide them with some food and some tannins and stuff. So I think it's going to be a good addition to the tank as well. 
None of the shrimp were buried yet, which kind of sucks. I was hoping that they would love their home so much that they start reproducing like crazy. But apparently it's pretty normal for shrimp to need about one or two months to settle in to their new home to uh, start reproducing. So I'm not really too worried at this point. I think they'll reproduce. It's just I've never had shrimp reproduce for me successfully. So it's kind of, even though cherry shrimp are supposed to be these prolific breeders that are going to breed like crazy, I've never had that happen for me. So hopefully this new in this new dedicated shrimp aquarium, um, it'll happen. To help with uh, the plant growth, I also started dosing um, some fertilizer. So Flourish XL on the left is uh, liquid carbon. Um, it's liquid carbon, so instead of uh, dosing carbon dioxide, I'll dose that. And um, the API Leaf Zone is a fertilizer that's essentially just iron and potassium. I wanted to find a fertilizer that does not have any copper in it. And um, the API Leaf Zone was the only one that we had at the pet store, which had zero copper in it whatsoever. So I uh, picked that one to help the plants grow. Because essentially I want in here I want it to look like a little jungle. Uh, that's Patilla waiting for her food. I want it to look like a little jungle in here and um, the fertilizer will hopefully help with that. So that is it for the shrimp update. Um, not really much has happened, but I just wanted to show you guys what the aquarium looks like now. Um, another update is probably going to follow within the month just in case anything changes. But otherwise, I think this is going to look fairly similar for a while until the plants really take off. And God knows how long that's going to take. So, thank you guys for watching. If you, have, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I love seeing all your comments and I always try to reply to as many as I can. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe already. Uh, sorry, if you're not subscribed already, um, you should go ahead and subscribe so you get any updates um, from me uploading videos. If you have Instagram, you should probably follow me on Instagram too. Um, I'll leave my whatever it's called in the comment section below so you can follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and with this, I'll see you next time.